three, two, one. Welcome back, everybody. Now, as you can see, during this part of the course, it's funny how things work out. Currently, if you are watching this during the quarantine, hopefully it's over by now if you're watching this, but uh, as you can see, it's April 7th, still filming the course. Now, during all of this, during the quarantine, hopefully if it's still happening or if it's over, regardless, hopefully you stayed productive and you stayed creative, just like I am. Now, I was out riding my bike the other day and this idea came because I, I noticed all these people outside riding their bikes more than I've ever seen before. And I thought this is a perfect opportunity to make some cool onwards designs pertaining to what's going on around the world. So we have this, these new logos that I came up with in the strike of inspiration. And it's really funny how things work out, how the universe works. Just as I was getting ready to film this part of the course that we're about to get into is when I made these designs. So this is an actual real world example of how I'm gonna use the, the skills and tactics in Photoshop for my actual business and my brand. So what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you how I am actually going to take these logos and map them onto these blank clothing, these blank shirts, so I can then put them on my website and actually sell them. So this is a real actual example. This is what I would actually do in this exact scenario. So that's really cool. It's really funny how the universe works. So with all that being said, let's get into it. Now, these are just two examples. I wanted you to see what I was working on. Now, I know it's a little tricky to see, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add a colored background to make this super duper easy for you. Alrighty, so let's start with this. Oop, make sure the color is behind everything. So we have a white shirt and a black shirt. I have a navy shirt here. I'm probably not gonna use the navy one, but I can still show you if I decide to. So, if you remember the mapping videos, this is kind of the same idea, just a little different method. Instead of copying and pasting into, we're just gonna be placing the artwork and then using the blur, or I'm sorry, the dodge and burn tool to add shadows to make this look realistic. So let's go ahead and actually start with this white shirt here. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, just like other files, I'm gonna provide blank t-shirt files and hoodie files for you guys to practice this on if you have any cool ideas for clothing. So let's get into it. To backtrack a little bit, I designed these logos in Adobe Illustrator and I actually screen recorded myself doing it. So at the end of this section, you'll be able to go and I'll add those videos so you can kind of see my thought process and the design process and how I actually ended up coming up with these. So that's, that's cool. So ready to map these, the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna place the files into this document. So I have this folder selected. I'm gonna add this one first. Once it's in there, I'm just gonna click enter. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is place the other one on top of this one directly. And I'll show you why in a second. So as you can see, I have a black bicycle and a white bicycle. That's one for the white t-shirt, one for the black t-shirt. So now that I have both of these placed, I'm gonna go ahead and right click each layer and rasterize each layer so we can directly edit them and manipulate them. So with that, now they're both rasterized, I'm gonna hold shift and select the other layer, command T, and then I'm gonna size them to the correct size. So now I don't have to go back and try to do each layer separately and try to match the size. I'm just doing the same ones at the same time. So that looks pretty good. Click enter. Let's just take a look. Maybe make it a little smaller with them both selected command T, make them a little smaller. Enter. Oops, I do not want to make a group. a little bit okay awesome and let's move them up you want to be picky here guys okay wonderful so if you remember the mapping section of the course 
You remember me using the dodge and burn tools to create shadows? That's the exact same thing I'm gonna do now. Now with the uh, burn tool selected, you'll notice I can't do anything. That's because I don't have the one layer that I wanna work with selected. I have two layers selected here. So with the white one hidden, I'm gonna select the bike, the black bicycle, and I'm just gonna go in and start creating shadows to make it look more realistic. And you can already see like, just with those two little strokes, it's already looking, it's starting to look kind of realistic. And that's the whole idea. You know, during this time, it's really difficult for me to go to a screen printing shop or to even make screens myself because, you know, during this whole quarantine stuff, there's a lot of businesses shut down and you can't get the services that you might necessarily need. So that's why having these skills is so important because even though um, for these, I, I don't need to buy any inventory. I can use these skills that I have on Photoshop to actually create these mockups and then put these on my website, put them on Instagram, and then use a fulfillment service like Printful or Printify to actually print and ship these out for me. And I don't have to do anything. All I have to do is just make these mockups on the computer. So that's really, really, really cool. Especially if you're someone who doesn't have a lot of money starting out and you wanna get stuff made, that's a perfect way to go about it is to use a fulfillment service like Printful or Printify, both services I've used in the past and still sometimes use today. So for example, for these new shirts, I'm gonna use Printful or Printify to fulfill them and get them made for me to get them out to you guys. So with that, that looks pretty good. I don't really think I need to warp anything here. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is hide this background and save, save this as a PNG um, to put on my website. So I'm not too worried about the names here. See, I even spelled that wrong. Black bike, white back, PNG. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, once this is done saving, I'm gonna bring this up. I'm gonna unhide this blue background and then I'm actually gonna save this as a JPEG so I could post this photo on Instagram as a uh, preview sample or uh, a mock-up sample for you guys to to see and so I can market this to the world so with that let's move on to the next shirt so now with all the information I just gave you I'm just gonna fly through this and show you how I would just go about doing this so I have the burn tool selected the white bike layer selected and I'm just gonna start drawing shadows You know, it's funny, I, by using these skills and functions that Photoshop offers, there's actually been times where I've taken photos of people with like a blank t-shirt on and actually mapped uh, some Onwards logos on that. And people are like, yo, who is that person? When, when were you in California? And in reality, it's none of those things were real. I just use my Photoshop skills to, for lack of a better word, fool people and thinking that I had these really professional photos taken with professional models. Maybe it's deceiving. Um, but again, guys, you just you want to work smart, not hard. Why would you spend all this extra time and money when you could just come in here like Photoshop and spend a few minutes and just really make some cool, realistic looking things, right? So that looks pretty good. So again, gonna hide this, save the PNG black oh black shirt white bike i really can't spell today png and then with this Cool, moving forward. <clears throat> Three, two, one. All right, so now I'm gonna map the other logo on the front of this t-shirt. Go into here. I'm gonna place both of them in here because I'm doing a black shirt and a white shirt. So I have two versions of the same logo for each colored shirt. Enter. Place the other one in here. This one actually came out really awesome. Very, very happy. Okay, now rasterize each layer. Select them both, holding Shift, Command T, size them appropriately. Now, 
I'm not gonna go crazy with the shadows here just because the mock-up itself the shirt is pretty flat and there's not a ton of wrinkles so that makes it a little bit easier on my end but with that we can still add some stuff now I was like I said I was riding my bike the other day and I kept seeing a ton of people out riding their bike as well and I've, I haven't during all of this I haven't seen ever that many people out riding their bikes or just enjoying nature and being outside like you never really see that these days which is sad and so i was riding my bike i thought how cool would it be if i made you know some designs based off of all the stuff that's going on honestly i don't think i need really any shadows at all for this looks kind of weird yeah i'm actually not even gonna add any shadows because uh it just it looked there's really no no wrinkles in the front so easy peasy um but as i was saying yeah um you know that's that's the thing about art and inspiration is you it just strikes at the most random times and you have to like they say strike while the iron's hot right so that's what i did i came right home and just got to work and this it's been four days and now i'm ready to actually get this stuff ready and put it on the website and share it with the world so that's really exciting now again obviously this pandemic this virus that's going around it's really horrible and it's nothing to joke about but at the same time it's also a beautiful opportunity to reconnect with yourself and reconnect with nature and you know people that are closest to you it's it's a really good opportunity for all of that you know it, it just depends it just it depends on how you're looking at it you know and uh, i'm really not trying to let it interfere with my productivity or my creativity so I'm just uh, trying to stay creative because during all this, I want to inspire people to do the same thing, you know? It's really hard to try to type and talk at the same time. Now we'll save the JPEGs. Mm -hmm. His name is Walt, Walter for Walter White. If you're a Breaking Bad fan, that's what the colors remind me of. Mr. White. All right. Cool. So yeah, like I was like I was saying before I got a little distracted and off off uh, off track. I just I still think it's important to recognize the positives of all of this that's going on and it, hopefully when you're watching this all of this craziness is over and we've we've transcended this whole craziness but again you know me personally living in it right now in the beginning of april it's still going on if anything it's it's like starting to peak and uh i'm really trying to stay positive stay productive stay creative and still inspire others to be doing the same thing because when these kind of things happen you have two choices you can you know let the fear and negativity consume you or you could you know try to transcend that and again i'm not saying this isn't a bad thing it's 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 a terrible thing that's going on but you know it, it it all depends and it all breaks down and comes down to how you choose to view it you know perspective is everything and me as an artist as a creative as a designer i'm using this as an opportunity to inspire people during this time inspire yourself to still and again like i said this is a better time more than ever to improve yourself and focus on yourself like this says when you can't go outside go inside you know just use this time to better yourself and uh, that's what i'm doing and that's what i hope to transpire or translate rather and communicate with these videos with this course with this artwork with these designs i'm going to share and put out with the world so yeah guys even though it's all this craziness these are very exciting times and uh the world will never be the same so <clears throat> with all that um me talking your ear off let's move on to the next part <laughs> 